football now. Recently, the World Anti-Doping Agency and the Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya released a report detailing the situation the East African nation currently faces in the fight against the vice. WADA Director of Intelligence and Investigations Gunter Younger was in the country for the release of the report, which largely found that doping in the country is not institutionalized or organized. Well, I had an opportunity to sit down with Younger during his time in Kenya and began by asking him about the state of doping in the nation and what needs to be done about it. Doping in Kenya is not institutionalized or a big or networks that organize the whole doping. No, it's individual small groups, athletes with perhaps one or two people around, uh, and they use they prefer mostly uh, uh, nandrolone or EPO as substances. And most of them that we spoke to, they don't even know exactly what it is doing. Uh, so I think that's the biggest threat is the awareness, uh, the education uh, of, of the athletes. And as well, if you consider that, uh, that the sub-elite athletes, that mean, means that they're not in the high level in competitions but going abroad for earning money. Um, most of them are caught in the very first test. So uh, they use it probably in Kenya, but then uh, getting caught uh, abroad. So um, this is, I think, that that's the big issue that we need to address the awareness uh, and the knowledge about doping within the uh, athletes' community. Looking at the role of whistleblowers, it's something that you've brought up in the past. Um, how important is it to, to protect the process of, of, uh, of whistleblowing for those who maybe have information to come forward to the relevant authorities uh, as, as the authorities yourselves? Athletes are not coming forward. So then you have to ask the question, so why not? So if you ask whistleblowers what is the reason for them to come forward and to disclose something, they would say, first, what's going to happen with the information? Um, am I controlling it? Uh, am I exposed? Um, uh, is this person reliable that or is something happening? So I think what needs to be done, and uh, we have we have speak up at WADA, and we have started with few uh, with few whistleblowers, but now because our reputation gets better, we are we are reliable. We see the success uh, more and more coming forward. In Kenya, there's been a lot of negative. Uh, information, a lot of negative coverage about uh, doping and, uh, and th the legacy that obviously Kenyan athletics has. Uh, maybe as somebody who's worked with, the, with Interpol, Europol and the Russian uh, investigation as well, maybe what message would you give to those who maybe feel that the fight is being lost? Uh, I would probably say don't think or don't fight big, fight small because the more you fight small the bigger it becomes. If you think that, you know, battle the doping, you're going to win, it's too big. But if you start with one case and you never give, it, give up on, on uh, athletes, because there is one person, who for, for this person, for the clean athlete, it means the whole world, when, when, you, when this athlete can be sure that we try our best to remove all the, uh, all the uh, athletes that, that are cheating. So if you catch one, there's one who can participate from, from, the, from, the good th from the good result of that. So in this respect, as I said, don't try to f think about you know, doping as a whole. We can never win this battle. Start with the small ones. The more small you have, the bigger it will be at the end.